Hey guys, we're at the Easy Motion headquarters in Southern California, and it's exciting because they have the old PW display. This is grayscale, removable, love that, and it's got the little micro USB and everything. Now we're checking out the PWX display, and you'll notice the positioning on this. It's not up high where it could get bumped and broken. However, it's not removable. It's got a lot of the same readouts, and it still has a micro USB port on the bottom. I believe that is 5 volts, 500 milliamps a remote button pad, they've changed the style a little bit, and a walk mode that doesn't work if you're in North America. Ah, shucks. Anyway, we'll press the power button here for a second. It boots up, welcome. It's got this nice blue backlighting. Still 10 ticks on that battery indicator, 10% increments as well as battery percentage readout. In the middle we have speed and miles per hour and then a little power chart on the left here. It's definitely smaller, you know, when we compare the two back to back. This one's a lot bigger and easier to read. It's also faintly backlit. But again, it might be more vulnerable. This one's just a little bit more stealthy and it fits with the whole, you know, extreme electric mountain bike type of experience where you might want to fly below the radar a little bit. So anyway, we have an up and down arrow and that's going to let you change the level of assist. So the first level is plus eco and look, it's green. So that the idea was, you know, because the display is smaller to be stealthy and, and durable, you still want to get some feedback about what level of assist you're in, maybe just the periphery of your vision here. So the color is one way they're doing that. So plus eco, eco, those are both green, and then standard and high, those are blue, and then EXPW. What does that stand for? Extra power. We were looking it up earlier. That's pretty cool. And then down here, if we want to change through some of the different uh, menus or sub menus, we press the select key right here goes from battery percentage to cadence in RPM. One of the neat things about moving from uh, the PW or PWSE motors is that you get a higher supported RPM, pedal RPM. So up to 120 versus 100 strokes. So that's kind of neat. You can actually measure that here with the cadence menu. And we move to the next one, time, odometer, trip distance, average speed, max speed, and then distance, I think this might be kind of like range. Yeah, and as I change levels of assist, you see how range is changing. So this is giving me on the fly estimates of how far the bike can go. And I'd found that the Yamaha PW system was one of the more efficient ones. The PW X gives you 80 Newton meters of torque instead of 70. So you're gonna be spending that energy a little more quickly. And that's where it's nice to have those 10 ticks, uh, a range estimator and the percentage readout that we just got back to. So that's pretty much everything here except for the walk mode button, which basically does nothing in my geography. Please chime in if you're in Europe or somewhere else where they've left that enabled. I'd love to know exactly how it works. There's a light key so you could turn on headlights, but this bike doesn't have them built in. And then of course there are settings. So to get to the settings menu, you hold the select button. Hold it for a second there. The first one is stopwatch. Then we go to time adjust. That's how you set the clock. Distance units, so that would be like miles or kilometers. Uh, display items, so that's what do you want to show up when we were cycling through with select. You can actually enable or disable menus based on you know your own requirements. Reset, BLE. This was also confusing. It was like, what is that? There are a couple different options in here and it, it basically turns on or off Bluetooth, which might be like for heart rate monitor or for an app. And then USB, USB has two menus as well. So one is using it for power and the other one's for diagnostics. So you can say, well, you know, are we trying to use that to, to run um, maybe a phone or, you know, a Garmin or something like that? It's neat that they give you that option. It's not something I see a lot. And then LED, you can turn the colors off or on here. I'm gonna go into this one because the last menu is exit. So we go into LED by pressing the select button and then it says, you know, on or off. So it's on right now. We're gonna click select off and there we go we got rid of the color so for some people that might be distracting especially at night and it you know i really appreciate that yamaha's done that because the old uh, specialized turbo levo it had like this big light ring on the side and otherwise the bike looks completely stealthy in part because the battery wasn't even external it was internal battery really tight motor integration but you had that big led and people would just put tape over it or whatever Yamaha is giving you a lot more control here. I really think the PWX system is, is doing great. I invite you to comment or make some corrections or go a little bit deeper. In the description for the video, I'll be linking to a forum post where I'm gonna put the manual and some other notes and things. Uh, have fun out there and ride safe.